Hey, Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all honor and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raha Kodash. Double honor to the head of apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well and teach well. Much respect to the laborers, the hopeful elite scattered throughout the four corners of the earth that's teaching this truth with all truth, sincerity, and diligence. Uh, it's your brother Malachi, one of the video. Hopefully, it's edifying to the lands of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raha Kodash. All right, yeah, man. You know, as I got this played uh, right here on the screen, man, it's another article, all right, that's going into the famine, man, and the shortages and the inflation that's been going on here in America, man, right? And what better way, you know, it is to tear down the kingdom than to, you know, the the uh, the cut off the supplies in, that goes into the kingdom, man, right? See, when you cut off the supplies of the kingdom, you know, it... uh. Ultimately, when it dome on the masses of the people, it's going to change the vibration and the nature of the people, man. Right. And it's going to drive the people into chaos. Right. And you're going to start to have seditions and insurrections, you know, and you're going to start to have cannibalism. And when your nation, when the people of your nation is out of order, man, what more perfect time to invade a nation than when the people is out of order? You see? And that's what this was going on right now here in America, man. Right, that's why you got so many articles about the inflation and you know a famine. Hey, ultimately, this year how about Shemiah was shot ruin this kingdom out of power, man. You know, I right? and this you know just read the article. Like right? the head, it says if we are experiencing several, uh, uh, it's like not several severe shortages now. Yeah, see, I right? America is is uh experiencing severe shortages, man. Right, you have a famine on chicken right now. Right, they speaking of a drought, you know. They speaking about a uh, uh, shortage on gas. No, it's looking real bad for America, man. All right, hey, see, he said how bad would things get when the economy starts tanking again, man? And I'll be the first to say, man, it's for to get real bad out here in Babylon, man. You know, it's for to get real bad, man. The the uh, the 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 the, uh, the masses of the people, you know. Uh, are about to start acting out of nature, man. You know, that pride to be American spirit. Hey, that, hey, that shit finna be put out. You know, because, hey, the Lord finna send forth great mornings, man. And death and destruction here to America. All right? All hell. You know, finna break loose. You finna have these FEMA accounts that's gonna be set up. You know, you finna have the martial law troops, the Gurgle troops, the FEMA troops. All right? The UN troops. You know, Hey, it's for to be all out here here in America, man. It's for to change you people's reality, man. You Babylonians, man. All right. The read, I'm gonna read partial of this uh of this first paragraph. All right, so it says inflation and shortages are the two big uh stories for the US economy this week. In recent days, I have done multiple articles about inflation. Uh-huh. He say, and so today I want to focus on the world. So like I want to focus on the widespread shortage uh, shortages that we are currently witnessing. Yeah, see, hey, it's all type of shortages and inflation is going on right now in America. And like I said, man, this it, is none other but the Lord. Yeah, how about you? I shot ruin this place out of power. All right. And like a wise king. You know, you cut off the supplies that goes into the nation. Right. You weaken the nation and then you invade the nation, man. Right? And that's what you see taking place right now. All right. Real quick, let me get uh let me go to the book of Ezekiel. Slack you. All right, let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Chapter five. All right, in verse seven sixteen. He say, When I shall sin. Up, uh, when I shall send upon doom, evil arrows of famine. You see, see that's what's coming. The evil arrows of famine, man. You see, it's uh, uh slowly making its way into this uh into this realm. You know, all right. He say, and an astonishment unto the nations that are round about thee. So, oh, so like, hold on, verse sixteen. He said, when I shall send upon doom, the evil arrows of famine. We shall be for that destruction. You see? See, the Lord is sending this ultimately to be a to be a uh a destruction unto Babylon, you know, and also the, you know unto the two thirds, man. Alright, he said, in which I will send to destroy you. 
and I will increase the famine upon you and will break your uh your staff of bread, man. Right? Your staff of bread getting into your support. You know? Hey, the Lord is for the break all that, man. That's why you that's why you see inflation uh, on the uprise here in America, man, because the staff of bread being the support, you know, the 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 uh the 18 wheelers, you know, the the cargoes that come in by way of ships. All these things is being broken down here in Babylon, man. All right? And which is causing the, uh, the inflation. You see? And ultimately, man, when this famine set in, because the Lord said he going to send, uh, uh, what he say? Evil arrows of famine, man. Right? So when these evils being increased, man, you're going to be doing things outside your, uh, your nature, man. It's going to change the nature of the people. All right? Real quick, let's go to uh, second Isis. All right, this second is is fifteen, all right? Because it's gonna be actually people out here committing us uh, all sorts of cannibalism, you know, drinking. Matter of fact, here it is right here. This second is is fifteen and fifty eight. Matter of fact, let's see. All right, we're gonna start at uh, we're gonna start at fifty six. He said, "Like as thou has done unto my chosen, said Yahweh by Shimei was shot. Even so shall the Most High do unto thee. It shall deliver thee into mischief, man." Right, so this was this ultimately this the uh, what should I say? This is the fate of the Babylonians, you know, and you two thirds that want to walk under the tents of Esau here in America, man. All right, verse fifty seven. He say, "Thy children shall die of hunger, and thou shalt fall through the sword." Yeah, you gonna fall through the sword, hey, cause hey, most most of the people gonna get drafted in World War Three. You know, you might you might catch the jab. You know, us from that jab is going to lead to your destruction. You know, you might catch the RFID chip, whatever it may be, man. You know, he said, that city shall be broken down. Yeah, man, hey, the city's going to be broken down. You're going to have damn stores broken into, you know, hey, it's going to be left 10 to a city. You're going to have all sorts of chaos and all hell breaking loose within these cities, man, because of the lack of bread. You know, it's going to be seditions, insurrections. You know, race wars. All right. He say, and all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. You know, going into World War Three, you know, the race wars that's going to take place here in America. You know, hey, that's why all these uh these uh militia groups, you know, forming across the country, man. All right, hey, because they 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 set up for an appointed time, man. And the Lord is actually going to unleash these militia groups, man. All right. All right. Verse 58. The point he say, they that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh. See, it's going to be cannibalism going on, man. All right. He say, and drink their own blood for very hungry of bread and thirst of water, man. Hey, man, you got all hell is, is about to get ready to break loose here in America, man. You know. Hey, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna be uh, uh some scary times, man. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's see. Let's see. All right, come. On. This is the book of Second Ezra, fifteen and verse eighteen. All right. He say, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. The houses. Shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. You see, hey, in that day, man, men are actually gonna be afraid when that famine and you know these inflations and these famines finally dome and settle in on the minds of the people. Hey, some people gonna be afraid, man, because you are gonna have people like you see uh during these protests. You know how you got Jake, whatever. You know they be looting these stores and breaking in these stores and stealing everything. Hey, that's actually gonna roll over into the homes, man. You know, Jake going to be breaking in your homes. And hey, that's the Lord giving you a preview, man, of what's about to happen, right? It's going to move into your comfort, man. You know, your, your comfort in place, man, your home. You know? And the scriptures say that, uh, verse uh, 19, he said, A man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and and for great tribulation, you see? 
See, th this is the things that's to come, man. These are the great evils and the troubles, man. You know? And ultimately, you know, this is why the Lord is bringing forth this, uh, you know, this famine, man. These inflations and these droughts, man. Because he's ruined Babylon out. All right? But it's also, you know, it's also comforting, man. Right? Real quick. Because it's comforting for those who understand. You know, hey, because ultimately, you know, the Lord tell you, matter of fact, let's get this first. Uh, all right. This is the book of uh, Jeremiah 29, 11. He said, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said Yahweh Hashem Yahweh thoughts of peace and not of evil. See, this is going towards his elect. You know, and the Lord have thoughts of peace for his elect, man. And not thoughts of evil. So the Lord is not going to allow these evils to overtake his elect, the man that is laboring, you know, diligently bringing forth this message, man. You know, that's 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 uh, sincerely repenting to him, that's sincerely praying unto him, you know, that's sincerely doing the work. All right. He say to give you an expected end. Right. And that's the comfort because we hey, we we understand and know very well the things to come. So. When these things start to rise up in the earth, you know, it's not a shocking unto us. We're not caught with our pants down because we already knew from the jump that this was going to happen. You know, and we asked, we, we talked about this, you know, and we we prophesied, you know, that some going to say, all right. Let's go to Isaiah 65. And verse 13. All right, he said, Therefore, thus said Yahweh by Shemia was shy. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. See, that's the inspecting, and that's the comfort, man. Right? In this famine, hey, the Lord, Yahweh by Shemia was shy, said, My servants shall eat. Hey, that's why we do this work, man. Because, hey, every video you drop can be a meal in the famine, man. Or can be a bottle of water in a drought. You know? That's the comfort of the scriptures, man. All right, he said, Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall thirst. You see, behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Yeah, man. So while all this hell gonna be breaking loose in the earth, man, hey, we gonna be out here rejoicing because hey, we understood and knew. So like you. So like we understand, we understood and we knew the prophecies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Hey, we actually brought this forth, you know. So we knew very well that these things was going to come to pass, man. You know, that's why the Lord tell you, uh, uh, matter of fact, let's go grab that. Uh, Proverbs 22 and verse 3. He say, a prudent man foresee the evil. Yeah, see, hey, we foresee the things. We foresee the evils, man. We, hey, we already know a famine coming. So when these articles drop, hey, it's a, it's a faith booster, man. Right? You know, hey, cause the Lord tell you, you know, his hey, you know, these prophecies are faithful and true. Like he's saying in, in um second Ezra, the fifteenth chapter. You know, they faithful and they're true, man. So when they actually come to pass, it's a faith booster. All right. He say, A prudent man foresee the evil and hide it himself. But the wise pass on, it's like you, but the simple pass on and are punished. Yeah, see? When we bring forth these messages, you know, the simple is, I ain't trying to hear that. You know, a simple nigga be like, that's the white man book. You know, without even inquiring or even studying from the cells, man. You know, so by default, my nigga, you know, you, you gonna get taken. You know, you 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 ultimately, you for the taking. You see? You gonna be punished. All right, uh, let's uh, go real quick. Hit my spirit, Ezekiel 12 and verse 25. Uh, come. This book, Ezekiel chapter 12 and verse 25, it says, For I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. I will speak, and the words that I shall speak shall come to pass. You see? Yeah, see? So we hey, we actually prophesied, uh, we brought forth the decree of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah. About you know about the famine, man. About the inflation, and you know, look, it's it's now it's here in the earth, man. We brought forth the pestilence, man. You know, in the in the wars, and hey, and now you see it 
uh, plan, you know, plan in the earth, man. So he say, I will speak and the words that I shall speak shall come, shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged for in your days, you see, in your days being today, right? In these times, O rebellious house, will I say the word and will perform it. Said the how about Shimei Oshai. You see? Hey, that's why you know we brought we brought forth the decrees about the famine. And now the Lord is is uh He's performing it, man. You know? What the Lord say, uh, uh matter of fact, let's go grab that. Um Amos 3 and 7. Matter of fact, we're gonna start at verse 6. He says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? You see, shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord Yahweh Shemuel Shah had not done it? Yeah, so hey, the trumpet is being blown, man. When the brother got the when the books is open, and the brother is bringing forth the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, it's just send a sense of urgency down you know down your spine, man. You know, uh, through your through your through your vessel, man, you should have a sense of urgency. It's just in a chilling feeling down your spine, man, because the books is open. You see the men out in the ancient garments, bringing forth the words of Yahweh Bashmiel Shah. But it's an astonishment to the people, man, because they look for a nigga in a three piece suit with a choir and a band coming under the banner of Jesus Christ, man. Then they would inquire, but because the Lord raised up comely men. Your average black men here in America, you don't want to listen to them, man. You don't want to hear nothing they got to say, brother. You got to dress on, brother. You y'all still out here, you know? Y'all be scoffing, man. But ultimately, it's gonna fall back on the, you know, it's gonna fall back on the people who actually scoff at the prophets of Yahweh by Shmuel You know, all right. It's verse seven. It says, surely Yahweh Shemuel Shah would do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. Right? So, and that's why we bring forth this message uh, uh, diligently, man. You know, because it was revealed unto us. You know? And quick, let me get. It. Uh, come. Uh,. Uh, Habakkuk 2 and 3. All right. Matter of fact, we're going to start at verse 2. All right. He say, And the Lord, Yahweh Bashimel Shah, answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it, man. Yeah, see, the vision was, was written plain upon tables. You know, I set that face against my seal and prophesied. And that's what we do. We prophesy against Babylon the Great. Right, like he tell you in the book of Jeremiah, you know, the prophet that has been before me and before thee of old have prophesied both against many countries and great nations, man. You know, of wars, pestilence, and evils. You know, Jeremiah 28 and 7. You know, and that's what we do. All right, uh, verse 3. He said, For the vision is yet for an appointed time. Yeah, it's, uh, such as the time is known. You know, it probably didn't make sense, you know, then when the, when the prophets. Was bringing forth the prophecies, but it all makes sense now. You know, just like he said in the book of Romans, you know, uh, the things that was written the fourth time was written for our learning. You know, he said, but at the end, it shall speak. Yeah, see, hey, the Lord, hey, it, it, it's speaking now, man. You know, he said, and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Yeah, man, see. So, and that's why we have so much faith in y'all about Shemel Shah and these prophecies, man. Real quick. Uh, second Ezra 15 and verse uh, verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, say y'all about Shemel Shah, and cause them to be written in paper. Yeah, man, see? The, the, the paper, man, being the scrolls, man, being the, you know, the Bible. Hey, when you read the Bible, man, you, when you in the book of Matthew, man, you in the scroll of Matthew. You know, you in the scroll of Jeremiah. You know. He say, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Yeah, see, these words, these prophecies that Yahweh Shemel Shah spoke of are faithful and true, man. 
You know, he said that it was going to come to pass. You know. All of a sudden. Let's go to John. Chapter 6. All right. In verse. In verse 32. Yeah. So he said, Then Yahweh said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven. Wait, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giving you the true bread from heaven. Yeah. For the bread of the most high is he which cometh down from heaven and give it life unto the world. Yeah, being your how about Shmiao Shah. Right? Ultimately, you know, his testimony. And his testimony is the prophecies, man. You know? Uh verse 34, then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh shall said unto them, I am the bread of life. Right? He that cometh to me shall never hunger. And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. Uh all all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that come to me will I it's like it come to me, I will in in no wise cast out, man. You see? Uh all right, uh verse 38. He said, For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will which had sent me, that of all which he hath given me, uh, I shall lose nothing, but shall raise it up again at the last days. Yeah, man. Bring it, uh, speaking of, you know, uh, uh, the prophets, you know, the hopeful elect that was given unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, you know, hey, they, they was going to be bringing forth that, that, that true bread and that true thirst, uh, that true bread and that water in the last days, man. And that's the testimonies of Yahweh Shah being the spirit of prophecies, man. You know? Hey, man, but with that, man, let's give all underground prayers to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Ragatha, uh, by Shem Rahakodash. Until next time, I say Shalom, the water for tuning in.